I'm surprised no one guessed Chicago. Like it was mostly Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, even Dallas, but not Chicago. On my way, as I said, to the airport right now, my commuter flight boards in 40 minutes. So we on time, we early. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous because I've never commuted before and commuting in itself is a job, is a job. So I work six days after the first three days done. I don't know where I'm going to sleep. Because I only have 10, 12 hours in between my next trip and I don't know where I'm going to sleep on my next trip. So that's that. We gotta figure it out as we go along. And I'm also getting passenger princess treatment. I'm a passenger princess today. Will I be a passenger princess all the time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trying to get to Chicago, please. We're all confirmed, so I mean, I'm waiting for the plane to board. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the details of this trip. So I have a report time of 1.45 and I'm working two legs today. I go from Chicago to Vegas and from Vegas to Houston. The future flight gets me in around 12.10, which is like an hour and a half before my report time. So we have a lot of wiggle room there. But that is all for now. I will check back in with you guys when I get to Chicago. So I made it to Chicago, got here like an hour and change ago, took me a little nap because the day is about to be long. It's about time to head to my gates, I'm about to head over there now and get things started. First leg is to Vegas, so let's go. Okay, so I have a 30 minute fit in Vegas right now, I'm trying to sit down, not walk around so I don't spend any money. But I am dead in of hunger, like my day for hunger. Um, but I have food in my bag. So I don't want to wait. And the plane lands in a few places, like if I eat now, I'll be rushing to eat. And I don't want to rush to eat. I'm just trying to wait until we leave. But we're not leaving technically until I go home. Oh, so I'm trying not to walk around. I'll probably talk to you guys the next time when I get to this one. extremely tired as you guys can see I've been up all morning that little nap that I told y'all I took in the lounge right before my trip yeah <laughs> that little nap is what saved me so I'm about to turn in now and I will see you guys tomorrow hey guys so we have two legs today we go from Houston to Chicago and from Chicago to Pittsburgh we overnight in Pittsburgh another 16 to 17 hour overnight <sighs> The bag is heavy and I'm running out of breath but I just wanted to come update you guys and say hey because I was rushing out of my hotel room. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now. have like 30 minutes it before we go board again we still start boarding so i'll see you guys when i get into pittsburgh bye to pittsburgh 
kind of in a hurry <coughs> because we got in so late and we're trying to go downstairs and get something to eat but it's only 30 minutes until the kitchen closes so i have to hurry up and try to change and head downstairs this room looks so weird the last time i was here guys the lights click like flickering so i'm not a big fan of this hotel but we'll see i don't, I don't this, oh my god guys I'm, I'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you in a second let me just get my things in right now change because i need to change and I'm, I'm gonna show you guys the room yeah. so the bathroom there i don't know if it's the brown that creased me out or what because it's clean hi but i don't know i don't know the bathroom all right but then they come into the room right i have all my stuff lined out and stuff but you come into the room and that's it right there it's just like a little corner room I don't know, I don't know. It looks better on, I think it looks okay on camera, but I don't know. I don't see that. Eh, eh. Uh -uh, I'm gonna like it. I'm like, well done, brother. No, we yeah. got it. And he's like, quid pro quo. And I'm exactly. Like, oh. Yep. <laughs> no, I don't think I can do it. Information card in the seat back pocket in front of you. Fasten your seatbelts, climb the flat end into the buckle, pull the loose straps tight into release, lift up on the buckle, position the seatbelts, climb to the lower cross area, hips towards any time you seat. We're here for your comfort, primarily. We are here for your safety, so please don't hesitate to report any unlawful behavior until flight attendant. Thank you for your attention. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy your two hour and 22 minute flight over to Orlando. Welcome aboard. So I finally got a chance to check in with you guys. I am currently on leg two of three. I am in Fort Lauderdale. I have a little bit of a wait. So it's three minutes until my plane lands. So I'm about to head there now. But I just wanted to say, hey guys, I am tired. I am feeling the trip now. But I'll see you guys look a bit more. I just got back to Chicago. I'm on my way to the lounge now to hope that there is some form of sleep chair available that I can sleep in before I start my trip tomorrow that reports at 1. I only have like 12 13 hours, so there's no reason to get a hotel nor money. No reason nor money. So I'm going to head downstairs now. And if I don't check in back with you guys tonight, I'll check in with you tomorrow. I'm out of it because I'm going to run. <laughs> It's almost one o'clock. I got a lunch chair, so I don't have to sleep on the couch. I'm all changed, ready for bed. So I'm about to catch you guys tomorrow. Bye. Afternoon, so it's day three of three. I'm about to start my trip now. Slept in the lounge. It wasn't so bad as I thought it would be, but boarding is in five minutes. I need to go to my safety checks and get going. So I'll talk to you guys soon. People, you see my face? because i'm exhausted oh wait we gotta go <laughs> today was a day today was a day <sighs> just know that i had three flights all on the bigger aircrafts or 800 aircrafts and every single one was full to the max not one seat left open we have like one of our flights had 35 kids 35 i'm like it's october why aren't y'all in school I'm currently in Panama City. This is the first time I've been here. All right, it's a nice hotel. It's not a nice fancy hotel, you know? Okay, I want to get up early and catch the sunrise. I'm going to try to do that. So, anyways, we'll get some food. The hotel will give us some food. I'm going to give us some food. Oh my god. I don't think there's going to be seasoning on it. Okay, that's it. It's okay, I guess. Good. Morning. Oh my god guys, look at my view. Look at my view. Yeah, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm about to head downstairs now. I have less than two hours until lobby time. So I'm about to head downstairs to grab some breakfast. And to walk on the beach a little bit.
but it was so overcasted so no sunrise never happened well it happened but you know the cloud was back in my view <laughs> oh my god guys the most embarrassing thing just happened to me let me tell you what happened right so anyways i'm here sitting on the beach waiting for my wings order some wings it's 20 minutes i'm like all right cool let me just go sit on the beach chill out for a minute <laughs> So, all right, let me sit in one of the chairs. Tell me why, not like long after, I see this man driving up to me in a little beach buggy thing. And he's like, oh, ma'am, <laughs> it's $6 a day for the chairs. So, you know, at this point, everybody's like looking at me like, oh, she's gonna get in trouble. So, I'm like, oh, my bad, I'm not gonna be here that long. I was about to get up. He's like, oh, um, are you a flight attendant? I said, yeah. So he's like, oh, no problem, you can stay. But it was just improvising because everyone turned on my mom and looked at me and I'm like, mind your business. She's looking at me for it. I need to hurry up in the room and go get ready, but it's so beautiful outside. The day is so great. Love Florida. Um, did I tell you guys that I'm moving back to Florida? Actually, I move all over the place, guys. As you guys know, I'm not living in Houston anymore. I'm now commuting. Since my base is in Chicago, I'm commuting from all over the place. And commuting itself it's a job but at the end of the day it's like i don't know this it's a certain lifestyle that i want to live and i feel like to achieve that lifestyle i need to cut back on certain things and i need to sacrifice certain things and one of them is being like i don't need an apartment i really don't need an apartment i'm hardly ever there i work so much um and that money that i'm using to pay rent i can do things that i really really want to do like travel so we'll see how it goes i'm excited i'm scared um but let's see let's see let's see what life has in store like if i don't do it now what am i doing today it's i'm figuring out a lot of stuff that's my little two cents i'm gonna chit chat all right bye <laughs> so let me tell you about so let me tell you about what's happening right i don't know i'm in dallas right now we're about to head to new york but i'm just not i'm not feeling today at all like the first flight, this flight from where Vileo got to here, it was just a lot. It was just a lot. <laughs> so I'm trying to cheer myself up with ice cream. I have like 20 minutes of girl time. Yeah, we just chill it. We big chilling, so I don't know. I'm trying to see if I'm going to get out in New York tonight. It's a Saturday night and it's Times Square. So I'll probably go to see New York. Real quick. I'm in a hurry. I need to be downstairs like two minutes ago to catch up with my crew. But I wanted to say, guys, we're in New York. I'm going out drinking with my crew. Here's the little fit. Here's a little fit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's cold. It's cold and I didn't pack a jacket. But my palette came in handy. My palette came in handy and gave me his jacket. So we about to go. Let's go. Let's go. six of six i have like seven minutes to head down to the van so i'm about to rush out now we leave in new york last night was great last night was fun but let's go home we're tired hey two flights later and i'm back i'm back i never had any room to breathe when i hear how i sound like do i sound like i'm out of breath <laughs> yeah it's because today was that type of day where you can feel that it is day six of six it hurts everywhere, my body, my mind. It, it just hurts. It absolutely hurts. And I just want to sleep. I am so tired, but we're done. We did a six day stretch. We in a new base. We moved over the weekend. Like, I've been on go. I've been on go just like this. So, and my commuter flight leaves in four hours. My commuter flight leaves in four hours, but it boards in four hours. So, and I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm going to wash this makeup off my face and get have a cup soup in my bag. I'm going to eat my cup soup, wash the makeup off my face, 
and take a nap until it's time to board. I think I start boarding like 4.45 and it's like 12.30 now, so that's that. See you. Finally here after like 40 minutes after she said she was going to be here. 25 minutes. Yeah, I remember Ludi. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> so I'm back in Tampa now. The six days done. I'm drained. I have a whole lot of errands to do, which I'll probably bring you guys along with me in the next vlog. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Wait, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, bye.